How you doing? Trayon White? Yeah, I know. Oh, okay. I know, I know yeah. exactly who you are. Okay. How old are you? 39. Okay, we about, I'm 38. For this D.C. council member, the race for mayor is all about the ground game. Right. We got to walk six blocks up that way. In person and online. My name is Trayon White, and I'm the People's Choice for Mayor. Trayon White is well known in Ward 8, east of the Anacostia River, with a dedicated group of voters. This is relatively new territory. One thing I learned is D.C. is bigger than what I thought it was. We caught up with the D.C. native while he was out canvassing in Ward 4 with his team right along Georgia Avenue in Petworth. Let's go, guys. Y'all ready? Stay on white for me. You're still relatively fresh into your second term as council member. Why the decision to run for mayor? Initially, I wasn't running for mayor. Uh, the other candidate, Robert White, announced he was running. When he announced he was running on social media, somebody kept, people kept tagging me, saying, who is Robert White? What happened to Trey on White? Trey on White. I just saw people kept tagging me. And I just put, let's go with all these O's. So on day one, if you win, what, what's the one issue that you tackle right away? Well, we don't have one issue we will tackle, but I know one of the things that's concerning me is, is public safety. Homicides have risen steadily for the last five years. Violent crime is up 13% over last year, with some of those crimes being committed by kids, according to D.C. police data. For instance, 51 teens have been arrested so far this year, accused of carjackings. What about folks who will say you are an elected official, you've been in this role for several years now, you should shoulder some of the blame for where we are right I now? I say absolutely. And since I've been in this position, I forced the, the hand to put in, now we have over $50 million in violence prevention. Now, when the mayor kept saying crime was down, we said, yeah, yes, crime is down, down the street. He says part of his plan includes employing and engaging young people, a promise he's carrying out now with those working on his campaign. His other big issue, housing. I also have a bill that's pending um, that speaks to um, freezing the taxes around areas hardest hit by development. That's it. Nice. As mayor, White says he'd also like to see the commanders in D.C., but owner Dan Snyder gone. White also wants to lower fines for red light and speeding camera tickets and is sticking by his controversial stance against COVID vaccine mandates. That's not responsible leadership. I don't support that at all. And I think that as government officials and as a father, I wouldn't want nobody giving my daughter or my son anything that I don't know about without my consent. I think that's wrong. So even if science, scientists say this is what can end this pandemic, again, this will keep you safe? Again, again, what I'm telling you, what, again, I'm overemphasizing. I do not support the government telling parents what they're going to do with their, their child without their consent, point blank, period. People compare me to Marion Barry or say you're, that I'm the next Marion Barry. White says if he's fortunate, he'll get to follow in the late mayor's steps, who was also a Ward 8 council member. I'm like, wow. And I learned a lot from him. Now, White goes on to say one of his biggest accomplishments as Ward 8 council member includes bringing in a new grocery store and a community garden to help residents lead healthier lives.